So I've got a nice little chicken here. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple of days, air drying. It's actually been on a vertical roaster, which helps it dry out nicely. We seasoned him up a couple of days ago. Day before that, we brined him uh, and washed him. We have videos on all that. And today we're gonna cook him in the uh, Showtime Rotisserie Pro, or Pro Rotisserie, or Showtime Pro, or something. So the most difficult part of this is actually getting it on these spit rods. Now they tell you to tie it up with these elastic bands they give you, and you can do that, but I don't find it really necessary. Um, even a bird like this, the wings might flop around a little bit, so we're gonna fold the wings behind after we get them on the spits. But take the bird on a plate and try to get the rods fairly level as you go through. Push the rods through, and if you're lucky, you can get them to come out very, very close to the base of the legs. And rather than tying the legs up, what I'm going to do is place each of these legs by the point as it comes through. And really, do try not to skewer your hand, because it's painful. But if you can do this, we can take this little piece of fat off, save that for stock. Run it through the tendons or the skin on the leg, and it will hold the leg in place really well. You don't have to tie it up and hassle with that. So straight through, just like that. The other end goes on. Okay, center them up in the middle, and now if you want, you can turn them over and actually fold the wings back. Okay, and so what you have here now is a really nice sort of compact bundle of chicken. Okay, so in he goes, and you have a little resting place here where you can set him while you clean your hands. Set it in the back and turn it on for just about an hour. Now you want to peek in there, make sure the wings aren't hitting, they're not, and you're good to go. So we're going to let him go for about an hour, come back and check him at that time. So the eagle-eyed uh, viewer will notice that the chicken seems to have magically moved forward from where we put, the, uh, where we put him in. And the thing you got to know about these rotisseries is there's actually two slots in there. One is for putting the bird very, very close to the heating element. And that's for very small birds like game hens or if you want to sear the skin and get it all crackly and sizzly early on. So that's what I did. I left it there for a couple of minutes and then moved it further away so the skin wouldn't burn. Uh, the thing you got to be careful though is that the wings and the legs might catch on the heating elements. You'll smell it burning and see the smoke if it touches the heating elements, so be careful for that. If it doesn't touch the elements, you're fine. If it does, just move it to the outer one like I did, and that's where it is now. So we're going to turn it off, and uh, the best way and easiest way to get this out of there is just to take a plate, put it right into the chicken, and out it comes. Okay. Now, you can see he's on his little wheels. It's going to make it a little difficult to keep him from rolling away, but we're going to manage. And we're going to actually let him sit for just a couple of minutes um, so that he doesn't bleed juice all over the place when we cut into him. So I'm going to put a little bit of foil over him and come back in a few minutes, and then we'll carve him. So cutting up a chicken is actually a pretty easy thing to do once you've had a little experience. Uh, I've had this one sitting for a few minutes. Let's take the foil off him. And uh, it's a great color. Uh, I see a little bit of the juice has come out onto the plate. But uh, we'll take the, take the skewers out of him now. It shouldn't be too hot to handle. It's a little warm. But out he comes. Well, okay, he's still very hot. Out he comes. You can hear the skin is really quite crackly, which is good. That's what you want. And I'm going to use sort of a short carving knife. They have 8 inch and 10 inch. This is an 8 inch carving knife. See it's got a fairly thin blade because it's good for getting into the joints and all that. You can use any kind of knife you want. I would not suggest using one of these little tiny paring knives because you won't get um, a lot of results out of that. It's going to be a little difficult to use. But these are pretty easy to use. And if you want you can hold it with a fork. So let's first thing we need to do is get the juices out of it because you don't want hot juices running everywhere. And you'll note the juices are clear. That's a good thing. So the first thing we need to do is get the wings off. And if it's not too hot to handle, you can just handle it with your fingers. If it is too hot to handle, you can use a tongs or you can hold it with a towel. I've, 
I'm pretty much okay with uh, not getting my hands burnt too badly. But I want to get the uh, wings off first, and I always like to take a big chunk of white meat with the wings so they're not just a scrawny little piece. So I'm going to pull the wing joint back and get right in here and cut, and then as I cut through, you can open it and see where the joint is. I'm going to spin it around so I can see it better. I hope you can too. And straight through the joint with a nice piece of white meat. See that big chunk of white meat there with it? Okay, and the joint was right there. So we're not cutting through bone, we're cutting through the joints. Okay, so that's beautiful. Same thing on the other side. Cut really sort of through the breast. Okay, it is pretty hot. And when you pop the wing back, you'll hear the joint just pop right out. And then look for where the, for where the joints meet. And that's where, where you go down in between. So that's another beautiful wing with a nice nugget. Now, as you've noticed, the skin has come off the breast. That's okay. We're going to fix that. The legs and thighs just come straight back. So lay the chicken on its back, pull it apart, and it will make a natural opening right down with the knife and pop it out. You can go in this way, or you can go in with the point of the knife, but what you want to do is just pop it, and out it comes. Sometimes the back splits. This is a piece of the back, and the, sometimes that just splits. If it doesn't, you get in there with the knife. Take that skin off, because you're going to want to stay with the breast. You'll get in there with the knife, and you'll carve out that oyster that lives right in there. We'll see if we can do that on the other side. And then right between the leg and the thigh, we went through between the joints, not cutting through bone. So there's another leg. There's a leg. Here's a lovely thigh. Okay, fine. Okay. A little bit of extra skin. We don't want to lose that. That's precious stuff. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Pop it back and get in. And the oyster is back. Let's see if you can see it right in here. Get that little pocket of meat on the spine because that's the best part of the whole chicken. And the end of the bone just pops right out. Just pull it. Comes right apart. Okay? And then straight down. There's the leg. There's the thigh. There's the skin. I don't know where this... Is that the skin from the thigh? I don't know. Okay, now you have the breast meat. You could carve it like a turkey, or you could do it the easy way. Cut straight down. The meat is on one side, the back is on the other. Straight down, and it comes the spine, the backbone comes right off. Keep this, by the way, because it's wonderful to chew on. And when you're done chewing on it, you use it for soup. Now, got a nice double breast here. Down the middle. So now you have two large breast pieces, but these are pretty big. So I'm going to cut each one in half. Okay? So now you've got a lovely portion there, a lovely portion there, and here's that skin that we didn't want to lose. Another way you can do it is to take the breast meat and carve it off the bone entirely and make sort of a fillet out of it. So find the piece of bone that comes sort of vertically up and down, go right down beside it, and then tilt your blade, go out and pull this entire piece off like a lovely little fillet. Okay, there's a little meat left on this bone, but you can gnaw on that later. Trim it up beautifully, and now you can make beautiful slices. There. Here's some of that wonderful skin. More bones for mom to chew on. So, there you go. A fantastic roast chicken in the rotisserie. The Showtime Pro rotisserie oven. Roast chicken. Delicious stuff.